क्लास टेंथ इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम सिमिलर ट्राइंगल्स ए बी सी डी इज ए ट्रिपीजियम इन विच ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी एंड ए ई डी इज सिमिलर टू बी ई सी सो गिवन हियर लाइक ट्राइंगल ए ई डी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल बी ई सी so if the triangles are similar corresponding angles are equal and sides are proportional so if we'll write sides ae by be equals ed by ec and that equals ad by bc and corresponding angles also will be equal now we need to prove ad equals bc ad equals bc so to prove that now see take these two triangles the one which i am like sharing this triangle and this triangle and try to prove similar so triangle a e b triangle a e b and triangle c e d so angle b a e this angle 1 and this angle will consider as 2 so angle 1 equals angle 2 this is 1 and this is 2 reason is as these two lines are parallel interior alternate angles interior alternate angles next i'll take this angle like this 3 and i'll take this is 4 angle 3 equals angle 4 reason is vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles so triangle a e b is similar to triangle c e d okay by angle angle corollary angle angle corollary so if these two triangles are similar if i write sides proportional ae by ce equals ed by aeb sorry aeb ae by ce eb by ed and ab by cd so these are the sides proportional we can write by cp st corresponding parts of similar triangles now see we need to prove ad is equal to bc that is here this part i need to prove this two are equal see this two are equal i can say if this value is 1 suppose ed by ec okay ed by ec if i'll get this value 1 then i'll write ad by bc equals 1 so ad is equal to bc so to prove that one see here we have ae by be right ae by be the term see here we'll get take this two ae by ce equals eb by ed so this step you will just interchange these two places like here. okay so what you'll get like see ae by eb equals this if i'll bring here ce by ed understood so ae by ce so this i'll bring here and this value i'll take to this okay or you can do you can cross multiply then you can interchange so A E by E B is C E by E D. Okay. Now see what is given here. A E by B E is E D by E C. Now what is the value of A E by E B? A E by E B is you can write as C E by E D. So in place of this, see A E E B 
A E E B. In place of this, you can write C E by E D equals E D by E C. Now, if you cross multiply E C into E C, okay, so you will get E C square C E R E C same. Here, E D into E D is E D square. So, if you apply roots or square root, then if you send that side, you will get E C equals E D. E C equals E D. Now, take these two terms. Now. Take these two. So, you will write here like E D by E C equals A D by B C. But see, E C equals E D. E C equals E D. So, this value is 1 A D by B C. Because reason you write E C equals E D. E C equals E D. Now, if you cross multiply B C equals A D. Or otherwise, you can write A D equals B C. So, hence we got the answer. This is one of the important problem. They are asking CBSE board and as well as in Telangana State Board also they ask this question for 4 marks. Well, 